decided I'd make one more video before the day is out. What you're viewing right now is my rainwater catch system. <clears throat> I installed this a year ago, and since this time, that time, I, I have not used a drop of spigot water in any of my hydroponics. I have three barrels here, and they're tied together with a manifold. Uh, and it's, it was pretty simple. I mean, I get the barrels for free, and PVC p pipe is cheap. The adapters and the ball valves that I have in the manifold cost a little. And I just tied it into my downspout which is pretty simple and if you'll notice I have a net cup there. That net cup catches the leaves and believe it or not they do end up in there quite often. In fact just a day ago I noticed the water was not going into barrels during the rain and lo and behold it was stopped up with leaves but the net cup did its job. I have one more barrel down on this end by the Dutch bucket system. It's also tied in to the downspout about the same way. Uh, I only have a ball valve spigot, but by next year I, I will increase this capacity to 10 full barrels because I'm going to have a lot more hydroponics come next year. And while I'm at it, I'll show you my only two dirt in the ground tomato plants. Up here on the mountain the ground is rocky and even a flower bed is a lot of work just getting the rocks out. So I usually put a tomato or two in. This year I have two they call them sausage tomatoes. Actually they're Polish tomatoes and they're quite hardy. Uh, they have a very good yield and I've got some set on now uh, they'll be getting ripe pretty soon here is another view of my Dutch buckets too if you'll notice I have this system set up in a dog kennel I've been used in this kennel for three years for one very good reason the deer are as thick as flies around here. They will eat tomatoes, bell peppers, and beans as fast as you can get them planted. Uh, I never heard of deer eating tomatoes before, but they don't eat the plant. They eat the fruit and they wait till it gets ripe. Can't say I blame them there. You also take another look at this Dutch bucket cucumber. These things are getting huge. It seems like they almost doubled in one day. This kennel is 10 by 10 feet and it's 6 foot tall. It also serves as a good uh, way to train up my tomatoes and other plants. I, I'm thinking next year I might add another kennel which will give me a 30 by 10 foot which will let me run about 60 Dutch buckets in it. And that's all for today.